This is Twit. 8888 Ask Leo. Back to the phones. We go line three. Ra, uh, RJ in Yuma, Arizona. Hello, RJ. Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for taking my call. I appreciate you calling. What can I do for you? All right. One time, first time, um, as they say. Uh, so I'm a librarian at a high school here in Yuma. Um, nice. Earlier this year, a patron came in. Do you have books in your library? We definitely do, and people definitely read them. Get over to the phone because you're a little. You sound a little distant, so that's good to know. I know that lately uh, libraries have to think, have look at other things they can do besides <laughs> books, like the internet. Internet access is big in libraries. Oh, definitely, definitely do, here. Do high school students so, read um, books though? That's <laughs> oh know. my gosh, yeah, they should. Um, we actually had a reading. We have a reading program this year, nice. and we had a tie for thir- people read thirty. Two kids read thirty six books throughout the year. So that's wow. a lot of reading. That is. That's three books a month. It is. Well, what can so, I do to make your job easier? Well, thank you. Um, So I was wondering, Um, a, earlier this year, a kid came in asking for books on programming. We didn't have any. I recommended no. him to Code Academy and that worked briefly. Good choice. But good man. That's you. good. Code.org. Um, yeah. yeah but, and I was wondering if you could recommend some something so that like we have some books on programming or coding. Um, I know you recommended Think Python earlier. Is that something you'd recommend? For yeah. So the issue, of course, with uh, that kind of thing is that they date themselves very quickly, right? They're, they're yeah. you know, I mean, uh, there's nothing older than a book, an, an old book on programming. <laughs> it's like, but exactly. there are certain classics that I would absolutely have. Uh, kids are going to be interested in the popular languages of the day, and that changes all the time. And it's very... F- Programming languages, are, it's a faddish thing. But your Python's safe, um, okay. and that's a good choice. There's some classic books that, if you could find them, I think would be so great to have in um, in your library. There's one by uh, Kernahan and Ritchie called The C Programming Language that is a thin little book but is a gem. K-E-R-N-H-I-G-A-N. Kernahan and Ritchie, R I T C H I. It's it's so it's such a classic. It's called K and R almost universally. Okay. So that's a good one. There's there are two uh, books that if a kid is actually serious and says I want to learn to code, they're they're timeless. One is How to Design Programs. It's widely known as H T D P. And it, I recently just reworked my way through it. It is, it is the most important programming book, I think, for a lot of people, HTDP. And the nice thing about it, first of all, you can, it's free online, um, so you could point people to the online page, but you could also get a copy because a kid might be, I'm thinking you got a kid really wants to learn, browse in the stacks, is going to run across this. I taught myself to program with the C programming language way back when, and I think it's still yeah. relevant. Um, and, and so it's like, yeah, when I have the one, obviously want to have the digital, everyone has the digital access, but also just have it in the stacks. Be like, oh yeah, we can point exactly. you to that. Exactly. And so they can get HTTP online. It uses a programming language uh, that's free to download called Racket, which is not a popular language, but is a really good teaching language. And it's actually based okay. on Lisp or Scheme. It's a real, it's a scheme and, and. So that's a good one. There's another one that's a, a little harder for a, a more advanced kid. Maybe you don't need to carry this. It's called uh, SICP, the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs. That used to right. be the um, first book in college for teaching programming in many, many schools, including MIT. Huh. Well, this is obviously the, I'm. This is very fascinating. It is. Um, it's so, an interesting. It's you know. It's gonna. You're always gonna get. Uh, different answers depending on who you talk to. And the problem I have is you're going to get answers that tend to be faddish uh, because, uh, you know, oh, you got to get uh, JavaScript, the good parts, which is a great but JavaScript then, book. But but then like Flash and Java are going out. And, yeah, I mean, oh, JavaScript will be around for some time. It'd probably be a good... But I don't also think, and I'm, I'm very opinionated on this, I don't think a kid should start with JavaScript. It's too easy to learn bad habits. And that's why the, the single best book for any high schooler to start programming with is HTDP. It's hard. All right. It's hard, but it's good. And if he learn, if he does that, he will then 
be have a leg up, I think, on everybody. And then, and then a good Python book and a number of them that are really fun. There's some fun books on Lisp and Racket called Realm of Racket and Land of Lisp that are classics also. Uh, and oh. are they are designed – actually, Realm of Racket was written by high schoolers. They're designed for high schoolers because it teaches you how to write a computer game. Okay. And kids like yeah. that. <laughs> yes. And so both of those are a little more accessible. They have they have actually ca cartoon illustrations, but also uh, I think they're aimed at a, a particular age group. So I think the Realm of Racket, which is really a take up off take off on the older Land of Lisp. Those are very good too. And then if you have a really a smart kid who wants something different, um, the Little Schemer or the Little Lisper. I think the Little Lisper is out of print, but the Little Schemer is still around. And it's a really odd book because it's just a Q&A all the way through. It's the Socratic method, but it is an amazing book. And I'm just thinking, you know, you're going to grab one kid out of 100, but that kid could end up being the next Bill Gates because that's how it works. Hey, th great call, RL. Thanks for calling. RJ, I should say. Thanks for and the job you do, too.